Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour. And I am excited about this one because I am obsessed with any and all things mushroom. I think they just make everything have this magical feel. And that's exactly what this island has. We are touring the island of Amanita today. It is a mushroom filled fantasy beautiful wonderland i can't wait to get into it so let's not wait let's go ahead and take a look at the map as you can see there is a lot going on on this map there is major terraforming tons of waterways lots of path work something that looks exactly like a mushroom in the lower left corner so I'm excited to see what that's all about. Definitely no set residential neighborhood. It looks like they're all kind of in and amongst what's going on here on Amanita. Let's check out our villagers. We have Dom. There is Rudy, Mira, Anchovy, Poppy. There's Chev, Apple, Meringue. We have Bones. And Rodney, and of course the dream address is at the bottom, so type it in. Come explore with me. That is so much fun. Save it for another time. Of course, it will be in the description along with all of the creator's information so you can go and check them out, show them some support. They are incredibly talented. With all of that being said, let's get in to Amanita. We are heading out of the airport, and already you know how I feel about getting out and the views that you see instantly. And there are mushrooms. And look at this mushroom path on the ground. It is so beautiful. It's so green and red and just beautiful. But there are also a pile of gifts left for us. So let's go ahead, pick up the gifts, open them up, and see what we have. OK, we have an alpinist dress. We have a Ferrigan hat. I hope I'm saying that right. There's foxtail, uh, rubber toe sneakers. We have a fairy tale hood, alpinist overalls. There's a log backpack, some bobby socks, and a white chocolate donut. I think we are gonna wear the alpinist dress. We want to fit in. Oh, that's so cute! I'm thinking fairy tale hood. I'm hoping it's yes. I was so hoping it was red and we would match. Let's put on the log backpack. I think we look adorable, and let's just to hold. Let's hold the little white chocolate. Look at how cute we are and so ready to tour this island. I am excited. Now everything's saying, there's signs saying this way to resident services, this way to the airport, but I think we should just head left or right. Sorry, if I did my left or my right, head right. And then we will make our way around this island. But look at how beautiful the views are. Like, it's just so pretty. I've needed some pretty... Look at the little mushroom having a picnic. He's got the apple juice and the apples like this. Whole thing is gorgeous. Then you have the beaches all done up. What's on the beach? Oh, they have ice cream. Do I want to hold ice cream? We're saving that. We're just picking it up because I love thoughtful gifts that are left around. But how beautiful are just the beaches oh you've got the little camper truck surrounded by these flowers oh it's so pretty i think this is one of those videos where i'm not going to say cute the entire time i'm going to say pretty because it is so pretty so many customs and paths are these are those like pictures on the ground they're not like male what are they called there's the little camera that shoots the Polaroids is the word I'm looking for. There's a bunch of Polaroids on the ground. And we have the first villager house and they are not home, but look at how magnificent this yard is that they have the little ladder leading up to the tree. There's letters on the ground, customs everywhere, the little gnome out front, mushrooms everywhere. I mean, come on. This just starts so adorably cute. And can you go into the like, oh, you can. You can go in and around. I'm going to keep following up, though, and we're going to work our way. Back down to the beach. Look at even the umbrellas are customized, and there's just so much going on. We can go up, and we have another villager house up top, and they are home, so I'm so excited. Let's go inside and see what they've done with the house.
Oh, it's Bones' house, and he's got a little puppy in front of him. Sorry, Bones, I'm not trying to push you, but at the same time, I'm trying to push you because I'd like to see your house. Good thing we can spin around. He's got a little pizza on his table, a little living room area set up. He's got his messy little bedroom in the back. I love that there's a hamster on top of the shoe boxes. How cute is that? I love the little wall divider. Just a simple little house for bones, and I think it's so cute. Back outside, and again, the customizations all over this island are just adorable. Now, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the map in the corner. Do we continue going down? There's like double bridges here so we're gonna go down on this one and do a little pan up because i love double bridges that is just beautiful to me how gorgeous is that and then again these beaches they're fully like nothing is left untouched on this island it is absolutely stunning and so easy to get around we're on the second bridge that we were on before. Oh, look, it's a little mushroom garden. But look at how beautiful. Mushrooms on the ground. Mushrooms everywhere. This is so beautiful. And, oh, there's soda. I love thoughtful gifts. I don't think I can get anywhere else around here. So we're going to go back down to these stunning beaches. Little gifts everywhere. Canned green tea. We're just going to pick them up to hold them because... We've already got, oh, can I get in and around this chair? It's a little vine stool and we kind of got to work our way. And right behind it, look, there's a big giant soccer field. Oh, I'm guessing you can get into that. And this is where, oh, this is the little path we took before. So it brings you in and behind. So do we go up the vine? We do go up the vine. And look at the view, the terraforming is gorgeous on this island. But it brings you all the way up. I see Meringue down there by her house. We'll have to get, find a way down there. We have more villagers. Oh, we're eating donuts. I wasn't trying to eat donuts. I was trying to see if I could get down on this vine. I don't know if we have to go. No, we're just eating donuts now. In and around. So we will go around and work our way back down we did come across another villager home up here so I'm excited let's go inside and see who's here oh this I love these walls I know that they're supposed to be kind of like ruined and old and what but I don't know I think they give houses character I love them. I love his little living room setup. He's got his little bedroom. He's got the bear. I love how they're all very similar so far. The, I mean, we've only seen two, but the whole bed situation and then something on top of the shoe boxes. Very cute. Very simple. Very simple living here on Amanita. We are back outside and... I think I'm just going to put away my donut because every time I try to do something or climb down a vine, can I get down this vine? No. Every time I try to climb down and look at something, um, I just eat a donut. So <laughs> we're trying not to do that. Oh, we have, we've come across a main house here on Amanita. How cute is that? And the bridge with the tracks. And now there's definitely a vine here. So let's head down in. And more gifts. Canned apple juice. That's adorable and so fitting. And look at our little mushroom outfit. Must you stay a while? Yes, Mushy, we will because this is so pretty. Just the house. Gorgeous. I'm loving it. Let's go inside though. Check it out. See what she's done. I love the butterfly. I love the little effects on everything. You can hear the dog barking. Such a cute little living room. I love the curtains and the customs. And oh, what's going on on the couch though? The couch is, the couch is looking a little rough. <laughs> Again, the same walls, but they give so 
much character. It makes everything feel like a cabin. Oh, the phone is ringing in the back. I can see <laughs> the little word bubble popping up and there's smoke coming from a box. I don't know if that's a concern or not. Let's go and check the next room. This is cute. It's like a little kitchen area. You've got the little stand set up with the coffee. You've got the bread. The apple chairs are so cute. The apple juice. You've got the cherry lamps. The cafe carpet on the ground. The pear closet. Like, it's just so adorable. It's literally like a little fairy tale kitchen. The stove is also making some smoke and some waves over there. This is cute. Next room, we have the bathroom. Look at the mushroomy curtains that they have going on. They've got the little dresses up hanging on the wall. I'm pretty sure one is a custom. I've never seen it in store unless I'm missing something. The same Alpinist dress that we're wearing. The little butterflies everywhere. The bathtub is just steaming. It's just pretty. Oh, I love it. What a cute little bathroom. Upstairs. It, it's literally like you opened a page to a little fairy tale. You've got the plants, the green, the mum cushions, the bears, all of the butterflies flying around, the little gyroid. I love the green colors. It's Pretty. Everything they've done is so pretty. I love the artwork on the walls. Oh, it's a KK. They're KK records all around and gyroids all over the wall. Cute. And nothing downstairs. They're preparing for storage down here. Back outside, fully customized your, like it's so beautiful. Mushy's house was adorable. I love the little train tracks all over here. See if we can go further back before we go further up. That's, we were in that house. Can I go around this way or do I have, like is there a path? There's a lot going on on this island, there's a path. I'm just following the wood planks to find my way around, but we're up towards the back, and even this view is beautiful with the fence in the back, and more presents! White chocolate donut! We have one of those! We took bites out of it. This- oh, and then you can go up, and you can see everything. I love that you can go up and get into everything. But look at how much is going on. There is a lot going on. Like, this is fully fully decorated. Oh, there's a little campsite. And more villager housing. But there's camping up top. I don't know if that's the actual campsite. Let's see if we can get up there first. I saw... Did I see a ramp? Yes, I did. Yes, this is the campsite. I was trying to look on the map as we were going. So this is where the actual campsite is on the back and I love the little custom blankets put out. The Polaroids on the ground everywhere are so cute. Got little puddles everywhere. I love the fencing in behind because it kind of makes it feel enclosed, not like you're on this island like with all the water behind you. It makes you feel like you're in this forest or field. I don't know. It's just, I love it. It's working for me. Now we can head back down and go around. And over to this house, we've got the apple baskets out in front, the mush items everywhere. There's all sorts of apples in front of this house, so I'm kind of hoping it is Apple's house, but we will find out as soon as we go in. It is Apple's house, and Apple doesn't have the same wall. Her wall's very cheery, and then she's got like these... I don't know if they're mushrooms or like apples on the custom, but I'm loving the colors and they're so muted. She's got the apple chairs and the apple juice in behind. Washer and dryer bed area. I love the little apple custom picture on the wall. 
The houses are cute, and I love that they all follow a very similar pattern. Like, you come in, there's a living room, you have the wall divider, and then behind the wall, it's what's their bedroom going to look like. They're just simple, cute, functional houses. They all have little puppies. Apple, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to push you out. You are just, like, the cutest little thing. And then back down and through oh look at this there's a little menu you can buy apple related products i love all the little custom curtains the curtain partitions one of my favorite add-ons to anything i love how fully customizable they are i love how they're perfect for layering they look so good here this whole island is just adorable we were up top there before so you really can work your way around this island which is phenomenal but it looks like we have to do some hopping now to get where we're going so let's hop i'm gonna go in this direction because there's a gift item here what do we have a bean tossing kit we're picking it up because we pick up everything i don't know if i can am i meant to go there no so let's hop this way work our way across i love little areas where you have to Oh, can I get across here? Oh, I can. Am I trapped here? Kinda. I don't know how to get through here. I definitely can't get up that way. I wonder if I can get down and around? We'll find out. Because there's a path here. Or do I go up and back and down around? I'm guessing I go up and back and down around? To get to the other side? Can I get up? I should be able to get up. There's a vine right here. Okay, we can. Back up to where we were. And then we'll follow it down and we'll go around in the other. Oh, this is where Resident Services is. Okay. Bike rental it says go this way. So we're just going. Oh, there's a whole area up here and this leads to exactly where we were i love the little bikes everywhere the helmet there's a lot of terraforming going on here and a lot of figuring out how to get in down and around and i'm kind of loving it i'm loving the challenge in finding how to get everywhere there is meringue's house down there we saw meringue so from where we were at residence services, if Meringue were inside, I'm just going to hop back down there so that we're not missing any part of it. If you Meringue was inside and we wanted to go visit our house, you just follow the little sign and it gets you over to Meringue's house. And then you can hop along and you're here. How cute. If she was inside, then... We could head inside, but I kind of love that she's wandering around, enjoying the beautiful day. She's got her little strawberry plants in front of her house with the strawberry cake. So fitting of meringue. This is cute. Oh, little baskets of strawberries everywhere. So that is how you would get there. Okay. Love that. I love that once you put in a little effort in exploring, you literally can find everything it's it's all there you just got to follow the paths and the signs <laughs> paths and signs are key but look at this groundwork and cover like it's so absolutely magical we have a land bridge i love land bridges but this isn't really land per se it's kind of overgrown with some weeds and it's got some pathwork it's got something else canned apple juice we've got a couple but we're picking up free gifts because i love the thoughtfulness i love this bridge with all the customs on it. And this is, go oh, the museum is this way. Oh, and the museum is kept in simple form, which I love. I love that view right there. It is so fitting because it's not this big, grand building. It's just a little tent tucked into this magical little mushroom-filled forest. And it's so fitting and so beautiful. Sometimes you've got to give up things for the whole aesthetic of your island. And I feel like that is what they've done here. And it works. Look at down below. The amount of terraforming 
and waterways that they have put into this is insane. This is a secret beach. How pretty is this? The mushrooms, the vines, the tents, the trees in all different sizes. Look at the little squirrel on the ground. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna head this way. Can I head this way? I can. I'm just following. Oh, I see the store down there. I'm just following as many paths as I can, but look at these waterways in throughout. And I love, again, that each one is fully decorated. You can hop across, you can explore everything, and there's just so much detail put into it. And I hop back over, follow our path, go up a level. And this brings you to Able Sisters, which is made so pretty. I love the storefronts all around it, the pathwork on the bottom, the mushrooms lining it. I'm trying to get where it doesn't say round mushroom where I stand in front of it. There we go. How cute is that? It's got like this rustic little cabin store feel to it. I love the laundry machines out front. Look at the beaches down below and the insane literally insane amount of customization and items that have been put onto this island. What do we have? Boba green tea. I wonder how, oh. Oh, do not get myself stuck. I have a tendency to do that. Of course you did. Don't get stuck. There we go. The amount of times that I have done tours on this channel where I have gotten stuck on things is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Had to call the rescue services to come and find me. Look at the waterway down below. I'm going back across the bridge, but can we appreciate the amount of terraforming waterways that have been put in, waterfalls, and how everything is fully decorated. Like, it is stunning. Going down and across. Oh, I see bridges. This is where we came in on the airport. And then you can go. Oh, what's going on on the beach down here? A little volleyball game, some camping, but the beaches are fully. Every beach is fully, fully decorated. More apple juice. Let's pick it up because, again, thoughtful gifts. So many bridges as well, taking you across. Oh, and then you have to, can I hop over here? I can, and over, and it brings you over here. How pretty, and to more villager houses. Just gorgeous, the houses. Look at the shed and the gardens in behind. Like that is so, Pretty and oh, we are right by whatever this giant. I'm thinking it's a giant mushroom garden. But I'm gonna head in and around first and see what's in behind, and then we'll head back down. There's just so much to explore, and I'm getting so ahead of myself because I just I want to see everything. Can I can I see everything? I can. This is where. Nook's cranny is! Okay, it's all tucked up in behind here, made to look like a castle, and I think I saw this from up top. The pumpkin carriage in beside. You've got all these tiny little areas that are just fully, fully decked out. Like, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Just gorgeous. I love the mushroom or custom and then the flower on either side of any bridge. That's beautiful to me. Just gorgeous. What a view. And then, of course, you have these beautifully decorated beaches with the paths going all the way up. I just don't want to miss anything, so we're just going to head all the way. And it's just a cute and cozy little campsite. I love this. I can't with how pretty this is. 
again, people's creativity, it just astounds me. And the amount of time it must have taken to grow and plant these flowers, path it out, do all the work, find all the customs. Like, it's incredible. We do have a house here, though, and it looks like they're home. I'm wondering, how do I get to it? How did I get here the first time? That way! <laughs> and then we'll go back down and around, I think. Can I hop through here? I can! And then a little path brings me through! And this is where we were previously, where the mushroom garden is. Just insane! And then we have another villager house right on the beach! So beautiful. So let's head inside and see who's home. Oh, it's Ruby's house and it's so pink and happy and colorful and they've got their little puppy. But again, following that same style, but I'm sorry, I don't want to push you, but I want to see. Okay, we're just going to do it this way. Following the same style where you come in, there's this adorable living area. Then you've got the separator and you can see the bedroom and kitchen in the back. You've got these walls, curtains, everything hanging from the ceiling. There we go. That's a better view. How cute with the pink carpet, the different types of flooring. I love it. It's just so happy. back out and again gorgeous beaches insanely beautifully decorated beaches and more houses and they are home as well look at the customs on the ground like everywhere you go oh, there's the mushroom field oh I wish there was a way that I could get a good view that's a giant mushroom I wonder if I go into camera mode can I get a better view of that? Oh, I wish there was a way I could get... I can't go any higher, but that is insane! It is a giant mushroom! There's Poppy. Oh, it's so pretty! The big, huge mushroom, and then you've got all the villager housing. Sorry, Poppy, I'm not trying to push you. I'm a little bit trying to push her. That's so creative and so pretty. But we do have a villager home here, so you know we're going to go inside and say hello. It's Chef's house, and it's so bright and yellow and shiny. And this one is different. All the other houses have followed kind of the same pattern but this is a little different we've got this i'm sorry i'm not trying to push you chef i'm trying to walk through <laughs> you've got a different wall divider with like a little opening oh she's got a little bathroom going with the gold everywhere the gold is beautiful golden bed you've got the golden mirror you've got the i believe that i want to say tourist tub the golden toilet like it's just so pretty I love it. I love the house. I love that you see the mirror and you have the same wallpaper mimicked in the back, but then you've got these pillars breaking it up. It's just beautiful. I can't get over this mushroom field. I just wish there was a way I could take a full photo of this field because it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the bridge. I love the view. They've done an amazing job with that. But you, you get the gist of it. If you walk around, you can see. And clearly you can see in the map how well it's been done. Oh, they have double bridges. I love the double bridges everywhere. So pretty. There's Dom down on the beaches that, again, fully decorated with these gorgeous paths flowers, animals, the bikes, the colors. This 
is just incredible. The mushrooms everywhere. I'm just in utter awe of this island. Go up, down, around. There is so... I love this land bridge. So much to see. So much water work that's been done. So many customs and patterns. It's just absolutely incredible. Worth a visit and a walk. And it going to explore because there's just so many different things to see, to find, to explore, to discover. There's just so much work put into this island. It's incredible, but it feels like you're in a fairy tale. It feels like a, like a, a book, like you're walking through a story and it's just so beautiful. Congratulations to the owner of this island. It's phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead though and my tour here. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for coming with me, for exploring, for discovering all the little secret places. If you loved it as much as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as always. Thank you again so, so, so much for your support, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. It means so so much to me literally everything thank you again and as always you know i'm gonna be back with more animal crossing videos